All right, Shalom. 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 All right, brothers, come to give with this truth. First and foremost, we love to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, which is to say our praise to the Heavenly Father and His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Proper name, Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. Ba is in, Ha is the, Sham is name. Yahweh Shai means He saves or He delivers. Give them double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, the true leaders of all Israel on earth today. Whether you can receive it or not, much love and salutations to the Akim, scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. All right, to you, we say Shalom, shalom. as well as shalom. to the few sisters who take heed to our lessons. I'm the fellow servant, I'm Rashad, got the brother. Tell me how you shalom, shalom. All right, we're two brothers at the GMS Cleveland camp. We come to you guys another quick and hopefully edifying lesson. All right, what you see on screen is this here article put up uh, yesterday, all right, on CNBC, all right, and as you see, or I'm sorry, yeah, NBCNewYork.com, it says, it's coming, New York declares state of emergency ahead of potential Omicron spike. Mm -hmm. It says, no cases of the newly identified variant have been detected in, the new, in New York or the rest of the United States for that matter, but Nonetheless, they're taking these precautionary measures. Yeah, uh, come. Mm -hmm. If I can say this, because this devil will be revealed yeah. you know, at the end of the day. So these prophecies are about to come to pass. So now he's scrambling. He's causing all this havoc, wreaking havoc and mm -hmm. chaos. You know what I'm saying? Because he's been, you know, because he's been a fugitive for justice from so long. These devils, these red Redomites, they've been a fugitive for justice. It's time for the Heavenly Father. And now that it's time for the Heavenly Father to serve up your... You'll you know that you sentence sentence you is sentencing, you know, now you devils wanna, you know, scramble and pull out these tricks. But it's really all the heavenly father though. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really all the heavenly father because cause the prophecies they're gonna be fulfilled, man. Mm -hmm. And it's a part of prophecy. Cause these devils really what do they want? They have an, 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 an agenda, agenda. That's at it. the end of the day. And these these officials, these officials like the governors and mayors and you know, lieutenant, the generals and these people, they're just puppets. For the for our arch enemies, these these Edomites who know that they're Edomites and know that we're Israelites, these devil these these bankers, these rich ones, mm -hmm. okay, and that's that's the truth, man. Mm -hmm. No, but uh, Salaki, brother. No, no, no. That's that, that, that's facts, man. Yeah, cause because they got the Georgia Godstones, like me and the brother was talking about, and that's what these devils want to do. They want to take a lot of people out. That's what they do. They 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 bloodthirsty. They drink blood. That's it. Oh, they just it was some thing about finding. Uh, human meat at McDonald's meat facilities and yeah. shit. Okay? So that's what these devils do. So blood and... You got some? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, real quick, this is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Mm -hmm. And like the brother was going into, you know what I'm saying? We're not ignorant of his devices. We understand that they have an agenda that they want to, you know, pretty much fulfill. And they've been working on it for centuries, man. Mm -hmm. All right? This is nothing new. All right, and in so many words, they've been waiting for a long time to get to this point where they're at. You see, and hey, man, this is this is all prophecy playing out right before our eyes, man. All right, you got a lot going on. All right, again, it says, "Con, con, and oh, you, you, no, 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 you want to finish? Yeah, does it? Yeah, it go, go. You get that, John, Lord willing, con. All right, because that's ultimately what these devils want to do. Is what they want to. That's what they want to do. That's what they was created to do, to, to wreak havoc, you know, demons. They but they, they like a problem child. Mm -hmm. Okay, walking to and fro on the earth, going up and down. That's what these devils these devils do, man. So this is a, a, a <laughs> this is the end of a of a dynasty. Yep, end of an era. Hey, and that's the spirit, cause Eon. that's that's what these devils try to do. They try to fight to hold on. Like when you watch Game of Thrones with uh with, with, with the Lannisters, you had Cersei Lannister, this demon. Right, and then you had Daenerys Stormborn, the, the the bitch with the dragon, for the for the people who seen it. And I'm using this as an example, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, but they um um the the Lannisters when they was going out of power, she tried to hold on, man. You know. Yep. But you gotta they putting up that fight. This is John Saint John ten verse ten, mm -hmm. the thief cometh not before to steal and to kill and to destroy. Kind and and who's the thief? These red Hebridemites, they're the thief. Right? That's it. So that's what they was created for, to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. Right? Like yin and yang, it's the balance. Positive and negative. Pro, uh, pro antagonist, antagonist. These yep. devils is the antagonist. They're against. They're anti-meaning against. They're yep. against humanity. They're against everything the Heavenly Father stands for. 
right? And they're trying to establish their kingdom on earth. That's what they're really trying to do, right? Mm -hmm. That's what they're trying to do. And that's beautiful because that's what the prophecy said, that Esau was going to be in that position when the Lord come back. And these variants and all that, that's a sign of the times that we, you know, we in and entering. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord said uh, uh, pestilence. Yep, pestilence. Pestilences, you know? Uproars of the people and <clears throat> mm -hmm. whatnot. And because behind this pestilence, that's what it's leading to. Lockdowns, man. All right? And people not trying to lock down anymore. You know, a lot of people, they they they, they uh, pretty much rebelling against the lockdowns, man. Mm -hmm. All right? So it says what? The thief cometh not before to steal and to kill and to destroy. Mm -hmm. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly, man. All right, so this is how they plan to kill a bunch of people, man, with right. this with this whole situation, with this new this 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 transformation that just happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, with, uh, the, with the thing. Yeah. The, the, the transformation. <laughs> they probably look for a mutation, probably a, a buzzword. You know? Possibly. You know, but that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That so was it on, like, the, yeah. on that on that point, man. But mm -hmm. yeah, man. Hey, man. oh if I could say this. So like uh, about the Georgia Godstones, because you they want to do what they want to bring down humanity to five hundred million. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you go from eight billion to five hundred million. That mean a lot of casualties has to take place. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? And they need different things as such in order to do it. And it's ultimately the Lord putting the Spirit on them to do these things, man. Mm -hmm. Um, want me to grab this here? This uh, Revelation six. Huh. This is Revelation six verse four. It says, and there went out another horse that was red. Mm -hmm. And this is representation right. of Esau. Yeah, because horse represents power. Mm -hmm. And red, that's that's these Edomites because they're really red. They're not white people, man. They're, they're red people. Okay? The mm -hmm. scripture said one came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they mm -hmm. called his name Esau. Roughly paraphrased. The, the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter, going back to the beginning, man. All right? These people are red. So that's horse represents power because these devils... They have power right now, mm -hmm. given to them, all right, from the uh, the heavenly Father, who is Son Yahweh Shah. That's it. It says, "And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth." And that's what they're really about to do: take peace from the earth, man. They yep. talk about the 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 the, 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 the thing, the Omi, yeah, the Omi, the Omi is it uh, affect children. You know what I'm saying? The younger people. That's what they talk about. So that's what they focusing on now. People, children, right? The dude. Had the video where he was in the hospital. His wife was about to give birth. The security said he got to get out. He like, oh, get away from me. Mm -hmm. Live. He live. He had me recording. Get away from me. Don't touch me. Backing all up and all this. You mm -hmm. know? So he about to take peace from the earth, man. Separating families and things like that. Separating and families. That's going to take peace from. And this going to take peace from the earth, too, man. Those lockdowns. Mm -hmm. Restrictions. Restrictions. Because people, you you got people in their mind thinking that this is a you can free world. We can... Travel, do you whatever do this, you, do you, do, you, do. you got people really believing in this shit. So now you, it's like yep. you're snatching a rug from under them. Yep, you're taking away their rights, the freedom, so which, to speak. Which, which, right, which which was all an illusion anyway. This exactly. is all a, an illusion. This is this is all witchcraft and sorcery. That's how these devils work. Give you people sleep. Yeah, pretty, yeah. pretty. You have you people sleep. Yeah, they're gonna show you real soon that your constitution is just a piece of paper, all right, mm -hmm. and that you don't have any real rights. Okay. Right, and then I think during the state of emergency, the Constitution, I, and I don't know, I could be wrong, be, be, be wrong I maybe think suspended I think... or affected in some type of way because during the state of emergency, they can usually pass certain, uh, you know, yeah. policies and things and legislation that they couldn't normally do when there was a normal, you know, yep. a, a situation. That's true. They, so, I believe they call it executive power, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the president pretty much has, you know, like executive power. You know what I'm saying? To pretty mm -hmm. much override like the house to send mm -hmm, it and all that mm -hmm, other mm -hmm. stuff. So mm -hmm. I, I I agree with what you're saying. Um, Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. Right, because that's the Hebrew word for Esau too. I mean, uh, uh, Edom, uh, 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 which is uh, Ad Adawam, yep. right, which is red, right? Mm -hmm. And that's these, these red Hebrew Edomites, man. Mm -hmm. You got it. It says... And that they should kill one another. Okay, and that's the spirit, because that's the point that is really about to come to. Yeah. Where people going to start really, well, 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 the crime going up. It's a lot of murders. A lot of looting, know? too. A lot of murders, a lot of looting, yep. a, lot of, a lot of theft. A lot you know? of theft. You know, a lot of violence. Yep. It was a, you know, we talk, we spoke about that camp. It's all, it's all on the news, though. You know, and they just said, oh, it was two people. They found two people 
on 47th over there in Hainan, right? Two people, 30 or some year old man and a woman shot. You know what I'm saying? Both of them dead in the car. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And then the one on Elmwood behind Target over there. Two people shot, one dead. You know? So it, that's going to intensify. Mm -hmm. All right? And that's what's going on, man. Judgment is increasing. That's all from your how about shimmy out shot. It says that they should kill one another. And it was given to him a great sword. There which that's his blessing. That's right, that's right. And that sword is about to come into play in a major way. Mm -hmm. That sword is about to come into play in a major way, right? Mm -hmm. we, we did the lesson about how the sword is going to play a major role in prof prophecy, mm -hmm. man. Okay? That's it, that's it. This is uh, going a bit more into the sword. This is Second Ezra 15, verse 15. It says, For the sword and their destruction drive nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Mm -hmm. So like the brother was alluding to, swords are going to play a major role in prophecy, man. All right. Who was it recently? Because that's who it was. Young Dolph. These different, you know, rappers and celebrities and whatnot getting gunned down. You're going to see a lot more of that, man. All right. A lot more of you, different people's idols yeah, getting shot the, down the, in the streets. The chick that, um, in Philadelphia, she came from a baby shower, got gunned down. Was there her own friend that did that? I don't know who did. I didn't see who did it. Oh, I, I forget. I I'm thinking of that situation. It was in, in New, New York. York. Yeah, yeah, with the woman. She mm -hmm. knew her friend and mm -hmm. went up and shot her in the head and whatnot, man. And it's going to keep being more, man, because the scriptures talk about that. Uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 12 come to mind. But there's another one, too, that I'm thinking, I'm thinking of two precepts. But, yeah, that Matthew 24 and 12, roughly paraphrasing what? That because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And that's what's going on, man. The uh, uh, love of many is waxing cold. All right? You got judgment that's increasing, man. Okay? So, yeah, it says, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. It says, for there shall be sedition among men. All right, and that's the time period that we headed into with this new thing that's out here and everything that's going on. All right, because what is this going to lead to? It's going to lead to chaos, and that's what the brother was speaking about. You know, that's what E likes to try to come with his uh, order out of chaos. You know, problem, reaction, solution. You see what I'm saying? He causes the problem, you know, get a reaction out of the people, and then he comes with his already solution that he had from the beginning. You see, because that's what this is going to lead to. Ultimately, the MOTB, he don't, you know what I'm saying? The, it, ain't, it ain't about getting you people jabbed, so mm -hmm. to speak. It's mm -hmm. about trying to come with what he been wanting to come with from the beginning, man. Mm -hmm. It was an all big, well thought out plot. Yeah, see, want us all to be one. Yeah. Right? And him be on top. We all one, but he's on top. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. And that's and 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 that's all prophetic. It's all in the scriptures. All these things must happen. They they, they must come to pass. This place must be destroyed. Mm -hmm. This place gotta go. It has right? to. We we have to inherit the the kingdom of the heavenly Father. We Yahweh Bashem Al We hasten the day, mm -hmm. right? We're we're, we're dwelling for righteousness. That's what we looking for. A new kingdom, new earth. So these things must happen in order for the kingdom to be manifest. That's in it. order for our Lord to come back and uh, uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. To come back Rataza and come and deliver us. Mm -hmm. Come and come and get us, man. It says, verse 16, again, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invading one another. They were talking about uh, a lot of breaking happened when uh, people was going uh, Black Friday shopping. So yeah. I'm going to go going Black Friday. People breaking their house because they know nobody did. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the spirit because. That's what the guy Brad was talking about from Full Spectrum Survivalist. Mm -hmm. He was talking mm -hmm. about um, while you out shopping, mm -hmm. it'll be wise to have somebody at home to, you know, pretty much monitor and maintain the house's goods and everything while one while another is out gathering stuff, man. You see? Mm -hmm. So it says, um, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Mm -hmm. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right? It says, um, and we have, what is sedition? Sedition is a violent uprising against a monarch, state, authority. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you're having going on nowadays, man. I, I constantly mention these different countries, you know what I'm saying, where you're seeing lockdowns and you're seeing people by the masses in droves in the streets, man. You know, pr uh, pretty much uh, rebelling against these newfound mandates, you know what I'm saying, that, that's being put out there, man. All right? So it says... It says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And that's what this is leading to, man. All right? 
That's what this is leading to. Whereas you got travel bans, travel restrictions. Okay. You got like the brother like to mention all the time those damn toll booths, those checkpoints. Right, well, like the movie Songbird. <laughs> yeah, dude, he had to have they had to have some type of bracelet. Well, guess what? It ain't gonna be a bracelet. It's gonna be a, a little by the size of a grain of rice, man. Yep. Right, that they gonna uh, administer through a through a through a hypodermic needle. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what it's gonna be for the brothers who in the know. You know. Yep. Okay. It ain't going to be no bracelet, man. That's going to be your verification with all your identification, everything. These, that's the, they want to, they want to, um, what, 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 what everybody say, what we say, what the, the scriptures say. They want to, um, merge man and machine. That's, that's what just these devils want to do, spirit. man. The movie Upgrade showed you that. Merge man. That's a, that's a good movie, Upgrade. Yep, man and machine make like a cyborg, so to speak, man. Right, so, and this is all a ploy. This is all, you know what I'm saying? The, yep. the, 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 you know, this is all a ploy, man. Yep. It says, verse 18. You slide a hand. Go ahead, you got it. Second Edges chapter 15, verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, come so the time period that we're heading into, man, all right, people yeah, are going to be afraid. It's for you proud people. Yeah. It's, it's, that's that's what these times is for. Well, all you proud people, man. You proud women, boys. Proud, proud lady in a wheelchair talking about she could do it too. Proud for her, the proud one. We yeah. heard her proud friends. You proud women. You know what I'm saying? Working. You proud, you, you proud people. You proud people of our nations. Mm-hmm. Fucking proud, man. That's it. For because of their pride... The city shall be troubled. Yeah, the cities, man, right? The inner cities in particular. Yeah. That's where a lot of low-income people live at, man. Yep, low in and, and you got to think about it. People don't, you, with, the, with the shortage of, because we were just watching the Epic Economist briefly, you know what I'm saying, off camera, we was checking out the shortages as far as goods and cargo ships and all that stuff. A lot of you cities going to be troubled for that reason alone, man. Not being able to get supplies, not being able to get food, water, resources, things of that nature, man. Yeah, right. yeah, they did that, that that article. I mean, that yeah, we was talking about with the truckers, two yeah. million of them. Or two, something. yeah, truckers. Uh, three days, you know, breaking it down. How three days is the, the, the society, the society gonna go back to the ancient world? And you got talks of that truckers taking a uh, pretty much a strike, you know, a break and a strike. You know what I'm saying? From from, and that's gonna cripple the economy. So that's what's coming, man. All right, it says that men shall be afraid. Mm -hmm. Verse nineteen. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword.